My wee cat just turned into a wee arsehole and ripped fuck out my foot. That was bastard and sore. What the fuck is it with these animals? I feed them, I love them, and then they attack me. You bastard! Anyway, welcome to another video of this pish. And I'm talking about zombie vikings today. It's the first I've actually played the game. It's not bad. Right, see you later. Nah, I'm kidding. Aye, zombie vikings in PS4. Again, I don't know if it's in any other fucking thingies, but it's... It's not bad actually, it was, it was like a, sort of a castle crasher, streets of age, side scrolling fucking type game and they've made other characters look like they've made out of paper, like in that Paper Mario game that people like. I've never played Paper Mario but I heard the Origami King was pish. But I'm going to base that on them, i fucking play it! Anyway, uh, aye this is what this is like. And you go a multitude of different Viking things. You go bands with squid arms and like yeti ones that are made of ice and big strong looking balcony things and fucking wee nibbly knobbly things with bones in their mouth. Yeah, that's about as technical as I'm getting with my, uh, you know, description of the characters. And you can buy new weapons and you can unlock rune stones. The first stone you get is called the rune stone of nothing which does fuck all, that's great. So I equipped it immediately of course. And then you get like big bastard swords and big lightning bastard swords and we chib a lot of chibbers and fucking clubs and all kinds and you can pick things up and throw them and you get wee boys to pick up and throw and bombs to pick up and throw and, and stuff and it's a bit drab looking but, but it's meant because I think you're, well, you're zombies so you're dead so we're going through the afterlife and and punching little worm things in the fucking throat from what I could see that's it's Fairly, it's fairly fun. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's it's, it's a co-op game too. Not the couch co-op, so that's a good sell as well. Need to get your couch co-op. Always need couch co-op, even if you can't have it. We need it. Any game in here's not got couch co-op. I'm not interested. At fucking who am I kidding? I'm not interested anyway because I like to play my game single player. Single player, offline, story driven. Yes, thank you. Hello, good night, goodbye, sir. Get it out, my face otherwise. I'll occasionally indulge in couch co-op if I'm over a pal's house and I've got nothing to do. We'll bash on streets of age and chib a few chibberinos and smash a few well, wallopers over the heat with fucking <laughs> clubs, you know what I mean? <laughs> Sorry about that strange. And as if you no doubt seen, I like to play with voice filters too because that's a lot of fun. I think you should get this game fairly cheap. Don't let the price put you off unless it's like 50 quid. I'd pay 15 for this, no more. But less, always less. In fact, I'd pay so little for a game that I'd pay nothing for it if it came free, but I always get immediately suspicious when I see a free game because I'm like, what fucking nonsense crap am I going to have to jump through here to fucking get to the first level boss? No! Well, there's a whole debacle about bosses in games, and we'll come back to that another time. Fucking hell, man. Anyway, alright, this is fun. Again, I recommend this one. Uh, I'll try and do something with no zombies in it in the future, <laughs> but I can't promise that. I like my zombies. I love my zombies! As you've noticed. Anyway, I'm uh, gonna wrap this up and I'm uh, gonna go um, take my face for a shite, okay? Good night!